हेलो वेलकम टू द सेल्फ लर्निंग पॉडकास्ट बाय डॉक्टर सुषमा सिंह लेट अस स्टार्ट डिस्कशन ऑन चैप्टर सिक्स ग्लोबलाइजेशन एंड सोशल चेंज एंड आवर टॉपिक इज द ट्रांसनेशनल कॉर्पोरेशंस अमंग द मेनी इकोनॉमिक फैक्टर्स ड्राइविंग ग्लोबलाइजेशन द रोल ऑफ ट्रांसनेशनल कॉरपोरेशन टी एन सी इज पर्टिकुलरली इम्पॉर्टेंट टी एन सी इज आर कंपनीज दैट प्रोड्यूस गुड्स एंड मार्केट सर्विस इन मोर दैन वन कंट्रीज दीज मे बी रिलेटिवली स्मॉल फार्म्स विद वन और टू फैक्ट्रीज आउटसाइड द कंट्री इन विच दे आर बेस्ड दे कुड आल्सो बी गिंगैटिक इंटरनेशनल वंस हुज ऑपरेशन क्रिस क्रॉस द ग्लोब Some of the biggest TNCs are companies known all around the world: Coca-Cola, General Motors, Colgate, Palmolive, Kodak, Mitsubishi, and many others. They are oriented to the global markets and global profits, even if they have a clear national base. Some Indian corporations are also becoming transnational. We are, however, not sure at this point of time what this trend may mean to the people of India as a whole. Now, the next point is the electronic economy. The electronic economy is another factor that underpins economic globalization. banks corporations fund managers and individual investors are able to shift funds internationally with the click of a mouse this new ability to move electronic money instantly carries it with great risk however In India, often this is discussed with reference to ris- rising stock markets and also certain dips because of foreign investors buying stocks, making a profit and then selling them off. Such transactions can happen only because of the communication revolution, which we will discuss later. The next point is the weightless economy or knowledge economy. In contrast to previous eras, the global economy is no longer primarily agricultural or industrial in its basis. The weightless economy is one in which products have their base in information, as in the case of with computer software media and entertainment products and internet based services a knowledge economy is one in which much of the workforce is involved not in the physical production or distribution of material goods but in their design development technology marketing sale and services it can range from neighborhood catering services to large organizations involved in providing a host of services for both professional meets like conferences to family events like weddings we have a host of new occupations that was unheard of a few decades ago for instance event managers have you heard of them what do they do find out about other such new service the next one is globalization of finance it should also be noted that for the first time mainly due to the information technology revolution there has been a globalization of finance Globally integrated financial markets undertake billions of dollars worth transactions within seconds in the electronic circuits. 
there is a 24 hour trading in capital and security market. Cities such as New York, Tokyo and London are the key centers for financial trading. Within India, Mumbai is known as the financial capital of the country. Now the next topic is global communications. Important advances in technology and the world's telecommunications infrastructure has led to revolutionary changes in global communication. Some homes and many offices now have multiple links to the outside world, including telephones, landlines and mobiles, fax machines, digital and cable television, electronic mail and the internet. Some of you may find many such places, some of you may not. This is indicative of what is often termed as the digital divide in our country. Despite this digital divide, these forms of technology do facilitate the compression of time and space. Two individuals located on opposite sides of the planet in Bangalore and New York not only can talk but also send documents and images to one another with the help of satellite technology. You have already seen how outsourcing operates in your earlier chapter. Cellular telephony has also grown enormously and cell phones are part of the self for most urban based middle class youth. This has been a tremendous growth in the use of cell phones and a marked change in how its use is seen. Now the next topic is globalization and labor. Globalization and a new international division of labor. A new international division of labor has emerged in which more and more routine manufacturing production and employment is done in the third world cities. We have already dealt with the outsourcing in chapter 4 and contract farming in chapter 5. Here we simply draw upon the example of Nike, Nike company to illustrate how this works. Nike grew enormously from its inception in the 1960s. Nike grew as an importer of shoes. The founder Phil Knight imported shoes from Japan and sold them at athletic meets. The company grew to a multinational enterprise, a transnational corporation. Its headquarters are in Beaverton, just outside Portland, Oregon. Only two US factories ever made shoes for Nike. In the 1960s, they were made in Japan. As cost increased, production shifted to South Korea in mid-1970s. Labor cost grew in South Korea, so in the 1980s, production widened to Thailand and Indonesia. In 1990s, we in India produce Nike. However, if labor is cheaper elsewhere, production centers will move somewhere else. This entire process makes a laboring population very vulnerable and insecure. This flexibility of labor often works in favor of the producers. Instead of mass production of goods at a centralized location, Fordism, we have moved to a system of flexible production at disparate 
locations post for reason now the next point is globalization and employment another key issue regarding the globalization and labor is the relationship between employment and globalization here too we seen the uneven impact of globalization for the middle class youth from urban centers globalization and the it revolution has opened up new career opportunities instead of routinely picking up bsc ba bcom degree from colleges they are learning computer languages at computer institution or taking up jobs at call centers or business process outsourcing bpo companies they are working as sales person in shopping malls or picking up jobs at various restaurants that have opened up now let us wind up the session and thank you very much for engaging yourself with the self learning podcast